Hello and welcome to this Alibaba Cloud Academy online tutorial video. In this session, we'll be showing you how to use the LabX.io hands-on lab platform. LabX.io is an Alibaba Cloud Academy partner. They provide online laboratory environments for you to get some hands-on experience with Alibaba Cloud products and services. Because the LabX.io environment will create a temporary Alibaba Cloud account for you, it's best if you run the environment inside of a private browser session. In my case, I'll be using Chrome's Incognito. In Chrome, I can open a private browsing session by clicking on the three little dots over here in the upper right-hand corner and choosing New Incognito Window, or by holding down Control, Shift, and N. That will open a new Incognito browser window. From here, I'll navigate over to labx.io and log into my account. To log into my account, I simply click on Sign In and use either my Facebook, Google, or GitHub credentials, or if I've signed up using an email address, I can enter that here. In my case, I have signed up using an email address, so I'll enter my email address and password to sign in. Once I'm signed in, I can navigate over to Cloud Lab here in the top menu bar to see a list of Alibaba Cloud's hands-on labs. You'll see that there is a variety of different labs to choose from. I'll choose this simple lab, How to Set Up a Personal Album Using OSS. I simply left-click on the lab card, and that will take me over to the lab homepage. From here, the first thing I need to do before I can start the lab is to click on Join Course 4.5. When I click on that, I'll have the option to pay either via PayPal or using LabX Coins. In my case, I've redeemed some LabX tokens already, so I'll choose LabX Coins. This lab costs 50 credits. I simply click Confirm, and now I've purchased the lab and can proceed by clicking on Start Lab. This takes me over to the lab instructions homepage. However, the laboratory environment has not yet been started. In order to start the laboratory environment itself, I need to click on this Start Lab button. Typically, before you click on Start Lab, it's a good idea to review the instructions here and get a feel for how long you think the lab is going to take you. This is because once you click on Start Lab in the upper right-hand corner, the laboratory countdown will begin. Typically, it's two hours. At the end of that two hours, the temporary Alibaba Cloud environment will be destroyed and any progress you made on the lab will be lost. So it's important to make sure before you start that you really have time to complete the lab. If you fail to complete the lab inside of the allocated time, then in order to have a second try, you'll need to purchase the lab again. Okay, so let's click on Start Lab and log into our temporary Alibaba Cloud environment. After clicking Start Lab, I simply need to click on Launch, and that will deploy the temporary Alibaba Cloud environment for me. Okay, the laboratory environment is now ready, and you can see I have a 2-hour or 120-minute countdown. Also, in the right-hand side here, uh, you can see that an account name and password have suddenly appeared. These are what I use to log into my new temporary Alibaba Cloud account. So I'll click on Open the Console, and that will take me to the Alibaba Cloud RAM user logon page. There's already some information here. There's an at sign and then a temporary domain, LabX249. I don't want to delete that. I want to leave that the way it is. Go back to the LabX page and click on this account name here. Clicking on it will copy it to my clipboard. So I click on it and then I navigate back into the logon page and I paste it in front of this at LabX249. Great. Now I can click on next and the logon page will ask me for my password. So again, I navigate back to LabX, and I click on the password once to copy it to my clipboard, and I paste it in, and click on Login. I'm now logged into my temporary Alibaba Cloud account, and I can proceed with the lab. If you get a card like this that pops up that asks you to choose a layout for the console, you can just leave it at the default, which is Maintenance, and click OK. All that does is set the style of the home page here. For most LabX labs, uh, that doesn't matter, so you can safely ignore that part of the setup. We can now proceed with the actual lab itself, so we can start following along with the instructions here to complete the lab. Also, keep in mind that LabX resources are always deployed in the US Silicon Valley Alibaba Cloud region, so if you're looking for a virtual machine or a database or some other resource associated with the lab and you're not able to find that resource, be sure to check that the region in the upper left-hand corner of your console menu is set to US West Silicon Valley. But just as an example, let's visit the ECS console here 
uh, go to instances and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see that once I select instances, my default region actually is Qingdao in China. If I change that over to US Silicon Valley, I can see the ECS instance that was created for the lab. When I was over in Qingdao, I was not able to see anything because the lab has not deployed any resources in that area. So I need to go over to US Silicon Valley to see my ECS instance and other deployed resources. If as part of the lab, I need to log into a virtual machine, that's easy enough. I simply need the public IP address of the machine, which I can get from here in the ECS instance list. I can then SSH into that machine like so. The default username for Linux machines is always root. The default username for Windows machines is always administrator. And if I need to know what the password is, the username and password for my virtual machines will show up here on the right-hand side of the LabX lab. Again, if I click on the password that's listed here, it will get copied to my clipboard, and I can simply paste it in to log into my virtual machines, as I've done here. When I've completed the LabX lab, I need to do two things. The first thing I need to do is navigate over to the Alibaba Cloud Console, mouse over my avatar, and click on Log Out. This will log me out of the temporary Alibaba Cloud environment. Forgetting to do this step may cause problems for you the next time you try to complete a LabX lab. If you fail to log out before stopping your lab, that's okay. You'll just need to clear your browser history and then try logging into Alibaba Cloud again. Uh, once I've logged out of the Alibaba Cloud environment, I can now click on Stop Lab to release the laboratory environment. Uh, this will allow me to start other LabX labs. Finally, I can close my incognito window entirely, and that's it. Thank you for joining me. Oh, and don't forget about the Alibaba Cloud referral program. You can follow us on LinkedIn to get a free Alibaba Cloud certification course. There's just three simple steps. Number one, follow our official social media account on LinkedIn. You can find the link here and also under the video. After following, send an email with your LinkedIn profile information to international underscore training at list dot alibaba dot dash inc dot com and then we will send you a code which you can redeem for access to your free course it will show up under my learning my courses as shown on the screenshot in the lower right here thank you and see you in our next video